All right, so earlier I posted a collection video to Instagram, and I said I would post a longer one later that goes into a little more depth of my collection. Uh, so starting in my stairwell, as you can see, um, got some movie posters coming down, uh, Wolverine, Winter Soldier, Infinity War, and then uh, this is some art that I picked up at a Comic Con, Planet Comic Con's local big-ish convention that we have in Kansas City. Uh, I got my original Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie poster. It's not the uh, movie movie poster. It's actually a reprint of the original, but I like it. For me, that was what got the uh, comic book movie train rolling. Um, that my wife made for me. She um, calls me Baxter. There's a, a, a big reason for that that I'm not going to go into, but when we were joking around about what uh, we should call my toy room here. I jokingly said the Bax Cave, or she may have said it, and uh, I liked it. So she took some stuff that she knew I liked and just kind of threw that together, had it printed out, and uh, it came out pretty well. So... Yes, I know the Ninja Turtle colors aren't accurate, but uh, I still like it. It's still pretty cool. So, up here you've got um, Travis Kelsey pop vinyl and Stan Lee pop vinyl. Um, when my wife and I met Stan Lee, uh, this is just from when I was in the Army. The uh, name tape and one of my unit patches fell down. But um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get that backing off and put back in. Uh, these are my pop vinyls. Um, some of the ones I really, really like. So uh, some Deadpool ones in there. Some Pokemon, Ninja Turtles, Spider-Man. Uh, some horror stuff. Got some... Uh, Jack Burton and Lopan from Big Trouble in Little China. Crow, Power Rangers, some Aliens, He-Man, stuff like that. Um, so I really, really dig those ones. Probably, uh, I'm not going to buy too many more pop vinyls unless something really, really hits me. But um, yeah, so there's that. Um, let's kind of go over what we did in the video on the Instagram. Uh, starting with these guys here. Um, these I got, where did I get these? Uh, this War Machine, that's from Iron Man 2. I got that in a local comic shop. It was a couple hundred bucks. And then the Captain America and Thor I got from Sideshow Toys, as well as the uh, Eric Draven. Uh, Crow is my favorite movie of all time ever. So I had to get that. Love it. Um, kind of went over these, not a lot more to go over here, uh, just the pop vinyls that, um, probably going to be getting rid of, moving on from. Uh, there's some good ones in there, but I just have too many, and I think these are the ones I can part with. I might hang on to that turtle van, just because it's kind of fun and different, but we'll see. Um here my god this is a mess it's just where i kind of throw stuff that i'm not using right now i really need to come up with a better system here uh, but i do have some of my extra uh ninja turtle stuff in here this was fun because when the uh mutagen man came out see how he's got those eyeballs in there when he very very first came out they didn't put any eyeballs on him i don't know why but, um, so I wanted to get one of each of those. My wife got me these. Here's the alternate color mutagen man from later in the line. Um, down here I've got some stuff. Not a lot. Mostly empty boxes. Uh, these are my signed Power Rangers figures. All of them are signed except the Blue Ranger. So, I just kind of keep those tucked away. Uh, I'm not going to go over my Ninja Turtle stuff too much more. Um, that silk print I found on eBay from China. Um, 
Corona free because I found it like six years ago. So uh, no issues there. It was like $7, I think. And it was actually a pretty good print, so I wanted to hang on to it. Um, kind of went over this stuff earlier. Mm. Yeah, not a lot more to say about these. Except this uh, playset I was super stoked to get. I got it. I know, I've been in this house for about two and a half years. And I've, I've gotten it since I've been here. But I don't remember when I got it. So... Uh, that creepy room down there is where I keep my comic books, but that's kind of a mess too, so I'm not going to go in there right now. Um, I hate these figures, let me tell you. If they had at least a wrist swivel, they would be so much better. But um, Playmates needs to get rid of that Nintendo, or the uh, Ninja Turtle license, man. They are, it's a tired, tired formula. They need to move on, get someone else to do it. But at least NEGA has given us all this cool stuff. Uh, these movie turtles I bought when the movie came out, and I don't know why I never opened them. I just didn't, and now it kind of, it's just a thing. You know, I just don't want to open them. Uh, the 2003 turtles. And then, like I mentioned earlier, that was the uh, first Ninja Turtle I ever owned. That I got in 1988. I remember taking it off the shelf. So well, I love that thing. Uh, there's my NECA Street Dio. I'm probably going to get another one and um, put them side by side and use it for the Super 7 Turtles when they come out. So, going from there. Uh, down here, not a lot more to say about these either. Um, that Muck Man was a pain in the butt to find. I actually ended up paying like, I don't even remember how much for it, $100 or something. And then they went down in price about 50 bucks, so maybe I jumped the gun there just a little bit. But, you know, I had to have it. Now oh, it looks like one of my figures fell there. So, yeah, really love the 2012 series. Kind of wish they'd have gone on for another couple years. Uh, my vintage figures. I found that. Uh, fifth anniversary Leo in a local comic shop for like 20 bucks, so I had to snag it up. These are the movie figures. Uh, the only one I didn't have was Michelangelo. I didn't have that Splinter either. I picked those up as an adult. Um, most of this other stuff is original. I didn't have Ace Duck. And there's another one, Antrax, I didn't have. And this... Um, Donatello in disguise. I didn't have either. All right, so kind of went over these earlier. It's just an empty shelf for me uh, for my uh, uh, NECA animated series figures. Planning for the future. Then um, kind of went over this in my earlier video. I forgot to mention the SH Figure Arts Turtles, but I really like those a lot. So, yep, that's about it there. I don't think I showed off that Bebop either. Uh, storage stuff up here. And I forgot to... I've got an extra one of these. I don't know why I bought two. Uh, I think I bought one and then my pre-order came in. So I had an extra one. So, probably going to put that up somewhere. So, that's that. Uh, went over this stuff earlier. I really wish they would give us some more of those. I would kill for a zombie Thor and Wolverine. Iron Man 2. would be pretty dope. Um, I love this dark side figure. It's probably my favorite DC figure that I have. It's a little big maybe, but I, I, mm, I'm okay with it. I went over these guys. There's a few more I want. I really want a, like a Stinkor, uh, Evil Inn, a couple others maybe. But um, I like the way it looks. I don't really know much about this guy here. I think he was from one of the later series, but I just thought he looked cool. Uh, this here, I don't know that I'm going to add a ton more to it, which kind of contradicts what I said in my Instagram video. But, um, you know, it's just kind of hard to come across some of the 80s stuff in good shape that I had when I was a kid. And I might get some G.I. Joe stuff. 
Um, yeah, it might be about it. Maybe a couple more He-Man figures. Uh, Super Mario. Um, pretty happy with the way that looks. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. And then the uh, figures that taught me how brittle NECA toys can be. I think that's my third Marcus Phoenix. The first two, one an arm broke and the other one broke a leg. Uh, just a real pain in the butt. Uh, Voltron from the Netflix series. Um, that's uh, Kit from Knight Rider. That's pretty dope. Light works and everything. I don't remember who made that, but I got it at Toys R Us. Who makes this? I don't even know. I can't remember. I want to say it was Diamond Select, but I can't recall. Uh, here's my dog. Special guest appearance. That's what 300 bucks will get you. But I've had him for 10 years. I love that guy. Um, Voltron. Um, up here, more Stan Lee stuff. There's my Stitch figure that keeps wanting to fall over. Um, my son got me that Spider-Man for Father's Day. Uh, he's only seven, so probably going to hang on to that. The first thing he ever bought me, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Night Shadow Leonardo had an unfortunate run-in with one of my cats. What they did to his sword. Horrible. I'm going to get a hold of someone to see if they can repaint me a new one. And uh, that's a live round. From, <laughs> probably shouldn't be showing that. Someone gave that to me uh, when I was in the army. And I've just had it ever since. I don't really know why. But there you go. So here's the uh, Transformers figures I have. This guy. Okay, so there's a figure from the 80s. Um, one of them was called Skull Crusher. And then this guy is called Skull Cruncher, or vice versa. I don't remember which was which. But this figure, this character, was one of my favorite toys when I was a little kid. So uh, when I saw it again, man, I had to pick it up. But I buy my figures, my Transformers, for the robot form. So I don't know that I'll ever have these in vehicle form again. Uh, more Masters of the Universe classics. Uh, Moss Man still smells great. Uh, Man at Arms, Spirit of Grey Skull back there. Tuscador, I don't really know much about, kind of like the uh, other guy over there, but I just thought he was a cool looking figure, so had to have him. Uh, Tila, Prince Adam, Cringer, Battle Cat, He Man, Man at Arms, Sorceress, Orko, one of my favorite toys when I was a kid. Uh, down here, uh, it's the Pokemon stuff. Again, D Arts, who uh, eventually became SH Figure Arts, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so you got the Charizard and the Mewtwo. I think that Charizard's a little small. I would like to see it if he was just a little bit bigger. Um, and these are just some random characters I picked up from Toys R Us. Um, then the SH Figure Arts. Uh, Jesse and James. As well as uh, Ash. And then the Figma Red. Uh, down here are the Alien Figures. And Predator over there. Uh, this is one of my favorite figures last year. I think it really just looks dope. Uh, super cool. So there's that. I probably need to dust this shelf off. And then over here. Um, probably drove people nuts when I described this as a first appearance shelf. Considering um, a lot of these aren't really first appearance accurate. But for me, it is close enough. So. Up here we got the horror and sci-fi shelf. That mummy back there is one of the universal monsters. I think that came from Diamond Select, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember where this Brundlefly came from. From the Jeff Goldblum movies from the 80s. Uh, Chucky is probably my favorite figure on the shelf, believe it or not. He's just stacked with accessories turned out really really cool I uh, just picked up that pinhead a little bit ago got evil ash from evil dead 2 and um, hero ash from I think that was also evil dead 2 that might be army of darkness 
Uh, his boomstick isn't quite right though. His barrel's too long. Uh, Eric Draven, Robocop, it, E.T., and Elvis Stitch. It's actually a keychain, but it was perfect size, so took the hook out. Here you go. Some different Terminators. John Matrix from uh, Commando. Favorite action movie of the 80s. Then uh, here's the Legacy Zords. That Thunder Zord is super dope. Uh, there's Guitardo from my favorite. So that's the 90s action figure, I think, from uh, Season 2, Episode 11. I don't really keep track of that kind of stuff, but if I'm not mistaken, that's right. Episode 10 or 11 from Season 2. And then uh, got the Movie Ninja Zord. Then got the uh, Lightning Collection figures that I have so far. Uh, waiting to get some more. That Lord Draken turned out super dope. Draken? Dracon? Whatever you guys call it. And then uh, Goldar. Love Goldar, but God, he's a pain in the ass. The figure, not the character. Just those wings are super goopy. I don't like them. Uh, this SH figure arts White Ranger. Still too short. I know in the... Uh, uh, Japan version, he was um, like a kid, played that character, so the figure is uh, shorter. I was hoping when they re-release this with the Tommy head sculpt, they would make him a little bit taller, but they did not, so that's kind of a bummer. And if you take out the White Ranger, I do have them the way they morphed when all six of them morphed in the TV show. So, that's the kind of nerd I am. Then up here... Uh, kind of went over this earlier as well. I really love what Storm Collectibles does. It's probably my favorite toy company right now. Uh, they are killing it. That Ryu came out. Ryu Ryu came out a couple years ago. Um, man, these Gears of Wars figures are super dope. I just love them. Uh, there's a NECA Ezio back there. Uh, that's the... Big Bad Toy Store exclusive Goro. I think he's still on their site, as well as the uh, non-bloody version. Um, Rebel Tech, War Machine. Um, I had him with my Marvel Legends over there for a couple of days, but he just uh, did not fit in quite well. Clearly a higher-end figure. Uh, SH Figure Arts Bruce Lee. Um, articulated Icon Shibito, I think that's what it's called. And this guy right here, okay, so I know he was had another figure that came with him. I just found that figure, and my idea was to give him to Mephisto. You know, I was going to make a little Mephisto setup and get, get him like a throne and have that guy hanging off his arm. That would be pretty dope. Uh, Carnage, best Carnage figure out there, but way too big. Laughably huge, even for a select figure. And then the uh, Toy Biz Pit Build-A-Figure. To this day, I maintain that is the best Build-A-Figure that has ever been released. I just love it. Gather, yeah, Bruce. Let's take a look at this guy. I mean, look at that thing. That thing is heat. I don't know if that will ever be topped, honestly. Not with a Build-A-Figure, anyway. More articulated icons up here. Uh, this one's the one on the shelf. Shibito. So I got Black Ninja, Deluxe Black Ninja, Solitaire, and then uh, the Samurai Warlord. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Sarai, I guess. Uh, this is the uh, Toys R Us display that I absconded with. I think I told that story once. I won't do it again. Um, these Alpha Flight figures were down on my X-Men display, but I moved them up here to uh, make room for some of the X-Men figures that are going to be coming out. Uh, Hasbro is killing it lately with some of their figures. Uh, this She-Hulk, amazing. Uh, Hercules, really good. That Red Hulk back there is super dope. Uh, they're 80 years. There's Stan. Got an extra Stan up there, too. So... That's the vision that was around when I started reading comics. Avengers West Coast vision, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, 
Deadpool. I love that Iron Man. I can't wait for the new War Machine that's going to come out on that book. Classic War Machine. Super dope. Um, then we have this Silver Surfer. Walgreens Silver Surfer. Uh, he's on the Select Silver Surfer base with the Select um, Infinity Gauntlet. So uh, Down here. That's the only Marvel Universe figure I own because I love Thunderstrike, so I had to have it. I am dying for a Marvel Legends version. Hasbro, please hear me. Hear my prayers. Uh, there's Gwenpool. I gave her the Squirrel Girl moped. That was kind of my idea for it the whole time. I need to find something cool to put in that basket, though, because I damn sure ain't putting those squirrels in there. Mm-hmm. So, as you can see, I'm a vanilla poser for the most part. Um, I don't do a lot of dynamic poses because, uh, one, I'm not that good at it. And two, it's, uh, yeah, it saves a little bit of room. There's the Marvel Select Drax. I put him, that's the uh, Entertainment Earth box set, but I thought that Drax was more size appropriate. So I sold the one that came with it and put the Select Drax in there. I think it works pretty well. Spider-Man shelf, kind of a mess. I might separate this one into two shelves or, um, also because there's just a stack of Spider-Man figures out there and they don't seem to be slowing up on it. So, there's that. Uh, MCU. Yeah, so I'm kind of over the MCU figures in the sense of I don't know that I'm going to buy more beyond the Infinity Gauntlet Saga, as they're calling it. Um, there's probably some more I'm going to pick up. Like, I do want the Red Guardian, and I do want the Taskmaster figure. But uh, I don't know that I'll be getting much more than that. And then over here, uh, these are the classic collection re-releases of some of the vintage Ninja Turtle figures. I think all I'm missing is Shredder and Splinter. Uh, this Brood Queen build a figure, Toy Biz. Toy Biz? Was it Toy Biz? I think it was Toy Biz. If anyone has that right arm, hook me up. I think it came with uh, Danger. Is that her name? Don't recall. This is my uh, this is my box of accessories. All in plastic bags. I got so much stuff in here, it's ridiculous. And just some knickknacks over here. Oh, also over here, real quick, this is a little sidebar. I do have the Turtle Blimp. I also have the Legacy Dragon Dagger and Saba. My hang goes on the wall eventually, but I haven't really decided where yet. Then my X-Men shelf. Another one of my favorite shelves. Uh, that's where Alpha Flight was. It's why I got a big empty spot back there. But there's a lot of X-Men stuff coming out, so I'm trying to make room. This one's pretty uh, self-explanatory. These Iron Man armors are a pain in the ass to keep stood up, let me tell you. Or villains up here. I really think we need a new maestro. But I really dig what's going on here for the most part. That's a select Ultron, select Thanos, Toy Biz Galactus, um, select Abomination. I might actually replace that with the Gamerverse Abomination that's coming out. I'll have to wait till I get that one in my hands to see what it looks like. Need a new Mole Man too. Doctor Doom, who doesn't love that figure? Come on, focus in there. Good enough. Uh, mostly this is storage. Um, I think this Figma... Uh, Link is still in there. And then I got this spawn figure. I don't remember where, but I do remember it was only 
I had it when I was a kid, so pick that up. And then I got an extra Best Ghostbuster ever, Winston Zedmore, who was also in The Crow. It's Officer Albright. So, but mostly I keep, I don't keep boxes except for import stuff, hot toys, higher end figures, because they're good for keeping the accessories in there so I don't lose them. They don't get broken. And if I move or something, I'd probably just put the figure back in the box for that purpose. Uh, my wife got me this bat wing a couple years ago. Uh, my intent is maybe to try and hang it from the ceiling, but I'm not sure how I would accomplish that and make it look good. Uh, Batmobile. My wife got me that also. Love it. Um, also love Batman Beyond. It's a great show. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a big chore to open all these up and get them set up. But I'm hoping between these two shelves here, I'll be able to put all these figures. And that will give me another free shelf to put more stuff. Because there's always something else to buy. And here's the... Uh, Man, that background really looks dope on camera. That's either like a kind of a shifting lenticular background back there. Uh, that Dana Barrett figure and zombie taxi driver just don't want to stay stood up. But that die was pretty dope. I like it. And what else? Um, I guess that's about it. That's worth going over. Um, some comic books I haven't read yet. I'm getting a little behind. Uh, sketch cover from Kevin Eastman he did at Comic-Con for me last year. Uh, Vision, probably going to be getting rid of this guy. Don't like it. Uh, I'm not sure about those. But uh, yeah, there you go. If anyone's looking for a Alfred and Raj al Ghul from the Batman vs. TMNT set, well, let me know. Baggies for my accessories. And yeah, I guess that's about it. So, anyways, this has gone on way too long. If anyone's still with me, I appreciate it. I just kind of wanted to get a little more in-depth about my collection and my thought process behind the way I got some of this stuff displayed. But uh, there you go. All right, so thanks again. Adios.